Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a beauty video and it's one that you guys have highly requested. It's all about eyebrows. So I'm doing an eyebrow edition. I brought you here into my local Blink Brow Bar and I'm gonna ask all the questions, but let's see, is it threading versus waxing versus plucking? Let's get started. So this is my fantastic beauty therapist. This is Srijana. Thank you Hi. for joining us today. <laughs> Srijana is responsible for my brows and as there's been um, quite a lot of interest online, um, we thought we'd show you how it's done, how to maintain it, how to do a tidy and shape. Um, we're on my beautiful model today, Aziza. And Aziza has really lovely sort of full, natural, young eyebrows. So what are we going to do with these today? So with Aziza, she has uh, full natural eyebrows, as you said. Um, they are already quite shaped, so we are only going to do uh, a tidy up, which is uh, defining the shape. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of tidy from underneath, and then we're going to do a slight tidy from the top, little trim, and a little bit clean up in the middle. That should be enough for Aziza. <laughs> okay, Srijana, where did um, threading originate from? Threading uh, originally ori originated from uh, East um, Middle East or India and China. It's been uh, in those part of the world for quite a long time now because as long as I remember, ever since I was a child, we've been threading our eyebrows so we don't pluck or, or wax in our countries. Yes. And that's a, that's a good question. So um, threading versus yeah. waxing mm -hmm. versus plucking. Yes. What are, what are your thoughts? Um, I personally obviously like threading because it is more precise, it's very defined and it's also good for your skin because uh, as per waxing you will be doing that sudden pull so over time it makes your skin a little bit loose mm -hmm. and uh, compared to plucking it gives you uh, ingrown hairs. So that's, that's interesting, yeah. and I think that's a really good point because waxing, especially for an mm. older, older, more mature woman, um, this is really sensitive area. And exactly. I think it's too harsh, whether the wax exactly. is hot or cold. Exactly. Um, but plucking, because I know a few times when I come in and see you, because I, I do come every two weeks, because my daughter occasionally gets in there and plucks, <laughs> and you always yeah. go, what have you done? Yeah. Um, so why is the plucking so bad, sort of in between? It's also because like, when you are pl uh, sitting there in front of the mirror, mirror and you are plucking your eyebrows, it is very easy to get carried away. So you, you think, mm, okay, one eyebrow doesn't look right, let me just pluck this hair, and then you end up plucking even more. And because, you know, lovely thick eyebrows makes you look younger as well, it's better you don't pluck. And also the uh, other side of giving you ingrown hairs is also bad for your own skin. Okay. Also, with plucking, um, while you're trying to pluck, um, you can also break your hairs. So that way you don't get the, the definition or the finish you want and you still got those broken hairs. Okay, so the root is still in there. It's still in there, yes. Actually, that's something a lot of people say, mm -hmm. you know, does threading, when you thread, do you actually remove the root? It does. It comes out from the root. So this is why it lasts longer as well compared to plucking um, because it comes out from the root. So it takes you at least two to three weeks for it to grow back. Obviously it depends on every individual, but normally that's, that's the time. So how much is it? It's 19 pounds to thread your eyebrows and it's tidying and shaping, includes trimming as well. And what else would be an additional uh, treatment that you might do with eyebrows? Um, after tidying a uh, shape to make it more defined and make it look um, a bit more bolder, you could tint on top. Okay, yeah. but would you tint with a darker eyebrow like this or more a lighter brow? With, with the lighter brows, yes. Darker, her eyebrows is already uh, matching with her hair colour, so you would, I wouldn't suggest her to dar make it even more darker. For Aziza, we will, uh, I recommend you to apply a brow gel. Uh, it's because you already have fuller brows, so you don't need necessarily need to have them uh, coloured and penciled. So. Mm -hmm. so our second model today is Leah. I have the YouTuber here in my seat. She is from Joel and Leah. Now Leah's eyebrows are a little bit different to our model Aziza because there's a lot less of them, but they're natural. So quite often you see this with a lot of young people and mature people where they've got 
Um, not a lot to work with, so I guess what do we do in this situation? Right, um, with eyebrows like Leah, um, one she could do is tint her eyebrows because you can see on the middle of her eyebrows they are quite thicker, the hairs, while compared to the sides and on the top. So if she tints her eyebrows, all those baby hairs will be tinted, so you will have an even colour throughout her eyebrows and then they will make them look a little bit fuller. Uh, for long term, she could uh, use a brow oil. What it does, it, it will keep the hairs conditioned, it will keep the follicles active inside uh, her hair, and then it will push the hair growth. Um, and also there is the last thing, which is filling up her eyebrows once they are um, uh, threaded. Okay. <laughs> so before we apply the tint, we will have to protect her skin around her eyebrows, where we actually don't want the tint. So I'm just uh, applying a little bit of petroleum jelly to cover that area. So with the tint, mm -hmm. Shujana, yes, is there a chance that, you know, it just tints the dark areas even darker and then the lighter areas you, you just a will, bit dark, yes. you know? You will get a little bit of um, tint everywhere, of course. Yeah. But um, what normally we do is for your eyebrows, like the half of it is a bit more darker than compared to the other side. Yeah. So what I do is I leave the front bit for a minute and nice. wipe that off. Nice. And then leave the bottom bit for another minute. So Fantastic. So that way we'll give, get even color everywhere. Thank you. What product would you recommend? So for her, um, I'm going to say um, gel, but with a little bit fibers inside. So what it does is you can see that it's got little fibers in there, so they stick to your hair. They mimic like hair, so it will make your eyebrows look fuller, so volumized, okay? I'm going to show you how to apply that as well. Okay. Have a look in the mirror. So just uh, wiggle it front and back like this. Yep. And then all the way across and then just give it a brush and set the hairs the way you want them to be. Oh my god, I've got an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is amazing. See the difference? Oh, that's incredible. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can totally see the difference. I just want to thank Blink Brother for having us today and also for my two models. Um, I think they look fantastic. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media at memore.tv and if you've enjoyed this video, I make lots of other videos on paleo and lifestyle, so please subscribe. She's taking over my job. Oh, you look like a clown.